and Democrat House leaders appear unwilling to put themselves under the same scrutiny they are demanding of the president. One America's Ethan Viveros has more on the hypocrisy behind lawmakers renewing calls to release the president's tax returns. A lawyer for President Trump has bad news for congressional Democrats in their crusade to release the president's tax returns. In a recent letter, William Kosovoy said the IRS is forbidden from divulging tax information without a legitimate legislative purpose. He also maintained that doing so would set a, quote, dangerous legal precedent, allowing the minority party leeway to nitpick the personal details of the president's life under the guise of oversight. President Trump himself called the push blatantly motivated by politics. It's, uh, I got elected. They elected me. Now they keep going. I'm under audit. When you're under audit, you don't do it. Consovoy also called the move a transparent effort to harass a sitting president simply out of dislike for his politics. This after House Ways and Means Chair Richard Neal petitioned the IRS for six years' worth of the president's tax returns. Soon after, however, conservatives were quick to point out the double standard behind Neal's call to arms. When asked if he would release his own tax returns last month, the politician said he may in the future and claimed he's done it in the past. But according to a report in 2017 by New England Public Radio, Neal has deflected at least five requests into his tax information. What's more, Neal was one of 37 members of Congress who did not respond to a roll call survey asking if lawmakers would make their returns public. Pundits say Neal's actions showed Democrats aren't willing to jump through the same hoops they claim the president should. Ethan Viveros, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.